So let's get into the makeup. Starting with prepping the skin. I already have Verdant Force Field, of course. Also, my nails don't exactly match the Strawberry Girl vibe, but that's okay. Anyways, up next, I'm trying to work my way through the Hydro Grip Primer. Please be patient with me, with my hair. It's uh, hopefully going to look different at the end, but I am gonna pin it away just to get it out of my face. I feel like Strawberry Girl, I'm trying to think of her as a character to get inspired for this uh, makeup tutorial because for the life of me, I could not get the latte trend, not because I didn't like it, but for some reason, I just could not make it work for myself. And I know that there's leeway when it comes to, you know, following these trends. Nobody dictates what exactly something is supposed to look like exactly. It's sort of up to one's own interpretation. But anyways, I feel like Strawberry Girl... Bring it together, my dad. I feel like Strawberry Girl... I wouldn't say she's dewy. I'd say it's more, like, more natural. You know what I'm saying? Like your natural skin texture, which is not dewy, not like super matte, just kind of like an in-between, you know? I feel like what could get me to that happy medium would be the Rose Ink Skin Tint or Tinted Serum. Just gonna go ahead and put it right over. This is always such a pleasure to apply because of its serum consistency. It's refreshing. This may not be my perfect match at the moment. I did actually just come back from camping, which was dope. My partner and I have been camping twice this year and I'm happy that we got to go. So the first time that we went this year was just he and I. It was kind of like our, I don't know, I guess like getaway. By the way, I'm gonna be inserting clips somewhere I don't have very many, mind you, but I did take a few and some pictures, so I'm gonna be showing you if you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. But any hoozies, got a little sun. It's not so bad, right? No, it's not so bad. So yeah, if you can see, this is just my skin but better kind of finish. It's perfect for this. Let me do my eyebrows right quick and um, show you a little bit of like my favorite aspects of camping. not twins right so I hope I showed you some good stuff because honestly it was a good time camping would recommend I know it's not a thing that many people like to do but it's actually one of my favorite summer activities okay for concealer I'm gonna go in with the Dior backstage concealer just because I feel like it moves with my skin and it doesn't enhance any texture it's just my favorite concealer and I don't necessarily have to make it like super flawless of a base you know I think I think the point is more embracing your summer skin whatever that looks like like strawberry girl is already pretty well rested you know she's just like living her best life frolicking in the strawberry fields forever 
Okay, so I'm also applying a little bit of concealer on my lid. I'm not gonna really do much to the eyes. I'm gonna use the Skin Mimetic Micro Suede Bronzer from Make, and I'm gonna bring it in just the crease, really. Any hoosies? Yeah, I love camping. I think we started doing like an annual trip since 2015. Over the years, I've grown to really, really appreciate just like the whole experience, you know, being out there, the sounds, the smells, it's so pleasant. This was actually the first time that I was able to really focus on camping because in the past, I'd be checking emails, I'd be just like panicking about work and I just feel so grateful I was able to really be present you know, the second time that we went camping, we went with my brothers and my nephews and um, it's just such a cool thing to get to share with them. We're not a family that takes, I don't know, I guess like family vacations, you know what I mean? I mean, it's been years. We were rained on pretty much on the second day and it wasn't bad, honestly, it wasn't like a downpour, but Let's just say some some family members woke up in a flood. That was not pleasant, I'm sure. But it's I feel like it's all part of the experience, you know? It's a good time. Okay, since it's already out, I'm also going to apply bronzer on the cheeks. My dad let us borrow his SUV. Rob and I both drive tiny cars and um, we were having car trouble. So because we got rained on, I exit... <laughs> It was totally my fault. But because we got rained on, I enjoyed quite a few drinks that night. I went to bed or went to like our tent and um, accidentally left the car keys in the cooler compartment of, the, of my chair. Sheesh. Did you know that if your car fob gets wet, you're pretty much SOL and your car isn't going to start? And that is something that I just learned. I did not know that. <laughs> so anyway, car fob breaks down on us. We're not able to start the car. And we had to have, well, we didn't, have, yeah, we were out of options. I mean, we could have called AAA, but we were only about an hour and a half away from my parents. So it wasn't so bad of a drive. And they got to hang out with us at our campsite for a little while, which was really cool. And they had to like drive up there to give us the spare key. It was like a happy mistake. Okay, so now we're nice and bronzed. We're looking sun-kissed. For blush, I'm thinking I have this Dear Darling water tint from, I think it's Etude. I don't know, but it's um, it's like a cute cherry color. So I'm gonna see what that does. It's perfect. This is so cute. I think Strawberry Girl would be a blush tint kind of girly, you know? But I like really wanted to show. Gonna actually try to bring it under the eye a little bit. Okay, so this is something to look out for whenever you use any tints for blush is that there is that possibility of it getting too wet on the skin and picking up your foundation. So when that happens, I prefer to pick up a brush and just like go at the blush because otherwise it's just gonna look a little too patchy. I was planning on using various blushies so we're gonna layer stuff, so no worries. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I still like blush tints because the effect is really cute. It just takes a little bit to get there. It takes some work. Okay, so we got this much. To be honest, I'm not loving the fact that it's making my skin look a little bit textured. Don't love that, but that's okay. We're gonna try to fix it with some powder. And I'm actually gonna use the same uh, brush that I used to apply my bronzer. And I'm gonna use it with the RMS Three Dimension Hydro Powder Blush in Hinky Pinky. And this is just a really pretty plummy sort of blush. It deepens the cheeks a little bit. I'm trying to get that sunburnt look. Also, did you guys see that RMS is releasing new shades or 
just released new shades they're so pretty the whole line kind of leans more pinkish and honestly i kind of feel like from my experience with both hinky pinky and what is this called french rose it is such a nice formula that you cannot go wrong with any of the shades i think the refill is 28 dollars and the entire component is i believe 30 i'll put it somewhere but it's such a great formula man Dude, I'm like, I'm going ham with this blush. And I just love the way it makes my cheeks look. It's kind of like a really flushed strawberry girl. Gosh, I love this brush. This is by Real Techniques and it's a blush brush. And now I know why. I put a little bit on top of the nose. A little bit here on the chin. I love this cheek color. Yes. Okay, I feel like I have to have something else going on, like up here, for an eye look to be complete. So I want to try a little bit of the Frog Super Shock eyeshadow from ColourPop. It's just like a rosy, shimmery pink. I'm gonna apply it down here. I've really been enjoying this like little technique of applying like a little bit of shimmery shadow there at the bottom. And I also want to apply a little bit, almost nothing, but a little, little, little bit in the inner corner just to give a tiny pop, you know? Check it out. That is adorable. There's not much left over in the brush, but I do want just like whatever is left on the rest of the lid. Let's move on to lashes. I feel like she's a brown mascara girly. Like she's not trying too hard. But also, if all you have is black mascara, then use black mascara. Same thing. It's just, this one looks a little bit softer, I think, because it's brown. Let me put the bangs down. Okie dokes. So I was going to go ahead and apply the lips next. But I actually want to apply some highlight. And I'm using the Phytosurgeons highlighter. This is their Spectral Shine, and it is in the shade Divine Daylight. Forgot, I want her to have freckles. So I'm gonna pop some on. Now we're looking extra cute. Four lips. I figure that I can go in any direction here, as long as it's like a rosy or red kind of color. I'm gonna pop on the Generation G lipstick from Glossier. Yo, my hair, it's gonna get there, promise. So I feel that this look would be super cute with just like a blurred lip, but I also want to bring it like outward just a little bit. It was like when you smear, you know? And I wanna deepen that just a bit. I'm going to apply a little bit of the tint and just kind of concentrate it like here in the middle popsicle lips. Then I also want to go a little glossy. So I'm gonna get really candid here. <laughs> I've had this e.l.f. lip balm, ride or die lip balm in Bosberry for four years. It's definitely expired, likely ridden with germs. It's just like the perfect shade for strawberry girl. See? I'm actually gonna go back in. There's a little some something missing. So I'm gonna go back into the blush, Hinky Pinky, and I'm going to try and exaggerate on that blush just a bit more. And honestly, to kind of like tone down the freckles. And there she is, Strawberry Girl. <laughs> I tried. Okay, this is all I could do. My hair is just not cooperating today. My apologies. Anyways, this is the look. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I enjoyed myself. If you want to hang out with me in the future, don't forget to subscribe. You know what to do. Um, give this video a like if you liked it. It helps out my channel. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a bit. In the meantime, I will see you in the next one. Bye. Anyway, <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare to try.
try to string together sentences for you. A little slice. Bye. In the next one. Bye. Oh my god.